Okay, show you guys how I set up my radio over internet for less than two hundred dollars. First of all, I purchased the Radio Tone, uh, the first one. It's only one hundred and forty-nine dollars shipped to your door. And the cable that plugs into the little Bofeng radio was less than ten dollars. The little radio is less than forty dollars shipped right to your door, and I just use an old XP machine I had laying around. I don't use for anything else. They hijack a sound card on a computer, so it's nice to have an extra machine for that. Um, but it's been working pretty good. I was in Vegas last weekend and was able to hear all my employees' radio traffic and talk back to them anytime I wanted. Little test here on the, from the radio side. Check one two. Testing one two three. Pretty good audio through there, and then you can do it the other way, of course. Check one, two, test one, two, three. And there you have it. The cord comes with the radio tone, plugs right into your USB. You have to select your uh, quite a few settings to mess with on the sound card. And then on uh, Zello, you have uh, settings, audio settings. You want to make sure your uh, your sound card is uh, in the radio tone is selected uh, for your control. Uh, the only ones you want selected is uh, I just have these three selected, unselected everything else because it seems like the the alerts kind of mess with it, like to key your transmitter when it's not necessary. Audio settings, every computer is different. Just have to get them set right. Then on your Vox settings, um, it just seems like the best to have your activation and deactivation cranked all the way up. And I tried different trigger times, but it seemed like 200 on both of them worked about the best. So there you go. Works good. Check, check. Check, check. And one more time, go the other way. Check one, two, three. There you go. Thanks for watching.